Hey guys, what is going on? Pilot is here and we're back with more Fantasy Star Online. Last time we finished up the uh, caves area and we went to the mines, did all of the side missions in the mines, and I think we're getting ready to move on to the uh, finish out the mines. Uh, let's get to it. Good, 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 good. Confirm. Block three, we go. And because we got to do normal mode, because we don't have anything else. You're in single mission. Hopefully everyone is doing well today as I forgot to join the forgot to join. Yeah, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Why is there such a large scale facility that needs my goal? Please investigate the strange large scale facility that is going beneath my goal so I'm gonna re. Hmm. Pilicious, you're here, good. The truth is, we recently confirmed that parts of the cabins are not natural. In, in fact, are quite clearly man made. Following the mine shaft to discover the large scale facility. We need top rate hunters like you to go out and check it out. Who put it there? Was it built to what was it built to do? Or what it's still doing? I know this is a lot, but please you must find the answers. As always, I really can give you the details. And as usual, I'm counting on you. Here are the details. Investigating report on the facility underneath Rago. You should be able to get Go to it by. Be able to find it by going through the mine shaft we found. Be sure to get a handle on the situation down there. Teleport has already been set up. You can get to the mine shaft directly from the city here. With all the goings on that we've been trying to plan the right goal, you have to expect the unexpected. Be careful on route to your destination. That's it. Good luck! I 
trap vision because trap vision is never going to be useful and doesn't really sell much either. Hopefully everyone's having a good day today. How's it going? Just smoke up, like, ow. Like 30 minutes ago. Volume is, the volume is a bit loud again. Uh, let me finish up this battle and I can adjust this. Actually, I should, um, I don't think I can adjust the in-game volume from here. So that's gonna make my alerts really quiet, but that's fine. Glad to say you have some headache medicine now. Tomorrow, hopefully. 
That'd be the hope of the medicine, at least. If I had something I should have asked the person we raided yesterday is what the mine and IQ stats do. For the, not the mind, the IQ and uh, synchro stats. I'm attacked by robots this time. What are they? They were customized robots originally for industrial use. Who did this? I can understand animals being metamorphosed with a by crustacean into mutants, but. These were robots. Somebody modified them. Was it done by someone from Pioneer 1? How does the game sound, by the way, now? Too quiet? Too loud? Pretty good olive dance now, sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we push this button. Might as well push this other one. Yeah, it's interesting to see, uh, it's interesting to see such... I know you didn't say it was high level, but it seemed like high level because... Level 120 something compared to... Level 35. HP material. I can reach this other one over Can I? I can. I don't know about these other two because I don't think they're going to aggro me and I can't attack them unless I aggro them. But okay. Uh, yeah. I said work about half hour ago, so I'm doing well. Take that out. Easy enough. That just this are not worth carrying around. Don't panic if you see one more if you see more than one Sino beast. Just find the real body. I did read up on the enemies as well, because that's what I do when I get into game series. I if I interest me enough, I look into them. And yeah, the Sino beast we I actually haven't had any problems with. I... that's fine. Ow.
Ow. He's gonna have to shoot me, you know. I need to move to use them more often because... Oh god. Ow. Took a pretty decent beating there. That's fine though. Just chill out here for about 157 seconds. Just to let our HP regenerate. But yeah, what have you been up to since you streamed there, Alex? As we sit here to let our HP regenerate, because being at 10 the HP is not fun, and we have self regenerating HP, so might as well utilize it. Not a lot. Decided to record some gameplay videos uh, out of boredom earlier. Besides that, just chilling. Fair, fair, fair. But gameplay videos. I saw on your Twitch page you said you play some Smash occasionally and some LPs. There's actually rare items you can equip to increase HP regeneration speed, not a great if, if, not to a great extent though. Fair. Monster hunting. Cool. Cool cool cool. Heard a lot about Monster Hunter. I've tried to get Monster Hunter World, but couldn't really to a degree. This first couple a couple of hunts in one of the old games. Far from your first playthrough. Fair enough, fair enough. Generally, a good idea to LP games that uh, you've played through a few times. We're just getting into Monster Hunter is so fun. Yeah, my roommate's pretty much pretty strongly into Monster Hunter. Enjoy watching him play. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I could get my I could see myself getting into it. I just haven't put that much time into it. It was more of a passing interest. Yes, generally it is a good idea to LP a game you've played through before, unless you're pretty good at improv. Which you blind blind playing through these, I've gone. Progress would better at improv, I'd say. I'd hope at least. Uh, so you have to understand that the series has been victim of standardization. By that, you mean the more recent games are much easier than the old? Fair enough, fair enough.
Now she has been regenerated so we can go on and move ahead and murder everyone. Sorry, but fair. Um, fun fact: I couldn't really get myself into Dark Souls. To me, I've been on this tangent before. I don't find Dark Souls to be a well-designed game environment rise or directional rise. It's boss fights, yes. Boss fights are where Dark Souls bread and butter come from. But it's far from beginner friendly. Which, sure, that's what you're going for. But, it's not user friendly. And by that I mean like, uh... Hold on. Ow. Yeah, it's on my playlist. I can play through it. Hooray. Ow. Okay. Give me a moment. I am taking a lot of damage here. Come on, come here, you. Um. Okay. Optimizer. Um, okay, where were we? So it could be you know, playing myself to do some days, you could be safe monster hunter, the boss fights being the best part of me, the smaller non boss monsters are less deadly and more increasingly annoying incredibly annoying. Less so in recent games because of accessibility, but the memes about how annoying the small mission monsters and monster hunter are. But there's memes, okay. Fair, but uh. Let's see. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. When I try to play through Dark Souls casually, after the first boss area, I was completely lost. And I went a few uh, different routes trying to find, but I couldn't find it. Couldn't find where to go forward from there. Later on, to watch an LP of it, and the route you're supposed to go on, to me, I thought was just environment and not like not a place you can actually go. It's not made apparent you can actually go to that, go on the mountain side. It looked to me like you couldn't. If there were something like a torch 
on it. I feel like I would fit it a lot better. Like, no, I don't need a... Uh, I don't need neon sign pointing in a direction. But yeah, a little bit of player guidance. Exactly, exactly. Player guidance through environmental cues. That is something that Dark Souls lacks. And I think that brings the game down a lot because you can have the best designed boss fights, but if you can't get your players to go to, if you can't direct your players to go to them through the environment, then what's the point? I've gone on plenty of uh, rant rants against Dark Souls just because it does not feel well designed in terms of directions. And then whenever you try to bring up those points, the fan base is like, oh, just get good. And if your deflection of criticism to the game is just getting good, that itself does not feel like is sufficient defense of a game. Ow. Ow! Well, I'm glad I have some escape dolls. Unfortunately, I had to use one there. But, okay. Um, we're gonna tell Pipe out and sell stuff. Actually, no, we're not. We have this disc we can drop. And we have this tap vision we can drop. Yeah, if the sense of criticism is just literally to quote unquote get good, that's not a valid defense to criticism. Hi there, I see you up there. So now be
Ow. Something to be said for a fact for the fact that it's part of a Metroidvania genre though. If you aren't If you aren't keen on getting lost in the game, maybe it's just not a game type for you. I mean fair. I can also argue that, uh... If after exhausting all possible routes you think, can think to go forward, you can't find a way. And the game doesn't make it apparent like, okay, you can go this way. Then there's not gonna be enjoyment out of the game. You're gonna... New users are going to put the game down before they can get into it. Oh, I can't shoot right now. my controls. I'm literally holding up right now. Oh god. Okay, um, let's mark the games that you play after the remote and when you go next to um, It's niche, but they echo games that put my, some of your favorites in, but it being obscure as all heck. I mean, fair. Again, if you know your target audience and you can get them to play it, more power to you. If you want to have more general mass appeal though, which is not all required by all games, you don't have to. If you want general mass appeal, it's a better idea to just, again, put a torch or something saying, hey, look over here. It doesn't have to be big and obvious, just small details. 